you guys. It's Rachel here with Sense of Tempo Cunny Corso. I'm over here at Morgan's house. I've I've not been able to come over here. I've I've been sick. They've been sick, and then there's been some um, family stuff going on, and so I just haven't been able to get over here. So this litter is doing really well. Um, they um, they think they're on day what? Four today will be day five of worming. I like to do six days of worming, and so um, and so anyway. So they're on day um, uh, day five. So they have one more day after today um, of worming. So um, little update. I do have availability on this litter. Um, I uh, may have first pick female available. And, um, it just depends. And then, um, I, I may work, I'm, I've got somebody that I'm in discussions with and we may do, um, something. And, um, and then I also have second pick male in this litter available and, um, then the last pick male spot. Um, so they're all really decently sized all the males are actually around the same size there's not a small male so this is a male really pretty clear brindle that nirvana is known for um really beautiful and um this is a male and then this black one here is a male and then this fawn one is a male that little one there's a female this brindle one is a female so the two smallest ones are females and then all the big ones are boys. So the smallest boy, which is like not even small, I guess, would be um, this fawn female, which or fawn male, which is funny because he was the biggest, and now he's kind of um, went down in size. That's why I tell people all the time: you don't want to pick your puppy when they're um, they're young because you don't really know. All of that stuff is like highly variable. <clears throat> and so you don't really know like what is going to happen. So, um, so there we go. There's that female over there. Really pretty girl. Um, that black male is very nice. He's definitely the biggest. Um, and, um, this is the first litter that. I have produced out of um, Don Juan. Come on, you guys, don't go to sleep. Hey, don't go to sleep. Don't go to sleep. Yeah. Hello. Um, so, yeah, the, this is the, like I said, the first litter that I produced out of Don Juan. Now, Reese used Don Juan, and she got a good litter um, out of him. I know, you don't know me that well. You don't know me that well. You don't see me all the time. Normally, my babies just love me, but you don't know me. Um, so, what? So, anyway, so, um, I'm pretty impressed. I really like this. I'm not going to lie. I really like this brindle boy. Now that I've had time to, like, look at him, I like his head a lot. I love his brindle. Um, I like him. He's got good, he's got good type. Look at you looking at me, boy. Look at you looking at me. He's like, I don't, I don't want nothing to do with you. Yeah, you look like your mother. You do. You look like your mother. You do. You do. You do. Yeah, you do. You're cute. You're adorable. You're too cute. Trying to get their expression. Look how cute you all are. Hold on one second. Morgan wants to ask me something. Hold on. Okay. You are too guilt. You are too guilt. You're too cute. Yes, you are. You're all too cute. I haven't um, gotten to stack them yet because we've been so busy, but I will. 
I'll start getting some um, pictures and they're not even five weeks old yet. Um, they'll be five weeks old, um, I think tomorrow on the 8th. Yeah, tomorrow. Look at you. You're so cute. I just think you're so pretty, Brindle boy. I think you're so pretty. I love your expression. Yes, I do. I love your expression. Did you pretty boy? Are you a pretty boy? Yes, you are. Look at you paying attention. Will you come say hi to me? Will you come say hi to me? Can I touch you? Ooh, what is that? Who wants to come see my hand? Who wants to come see my... Yes, good brindle boy. Look at you. You're tough. Are you a tough boy? Look at you. You almost came up. You got big old tree trunk legs. Yes, you do. Did your babies? Are you a baby? Are you a baby? What's your matter? What's your matter? Poor babies. Yeah, say I don't know you. I want to hang out with you, but I don't know you. So one of the things that I like about these puppies is that um, I have like very they have very beautiful, rich red coats. But they also look to be very clear. Like I'm not seeing any carbon on the body. Mm, I see like, I don't know. I wonder if they're, they're genetically like clear red. So I'm really, I've really been pretty, hello. I've really been pretty amazed by the, 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 this variance of like, you know, when you're with Corso or into Corso, you think to yourself, you think, oh, you know, there's just Brindle and there's Fawn and whatever, but we actually have difference. We have Fawn and we have Clear Fawn. We have Brindle and we have Clear Brindle. And it's a very striking difference. Like this little puppy here, she's not a Clear Brindle. And you can see how, how there's all this carbon on her back. And, um, like, there's just darkness, lots of dark hairs all throughout her brindling. But then this guy here is super striking. Look at that. All of his brindle is, is perfectly unobstructed. It's really pretty. And, um, it's a definite difference in the coat that you don't see here. And, um... And I think it just, it's like, for me personally, Brindle is not my favorite color. I mean, I would be lying if I said it was. But this kind of Brindle, this clear Brindle, it's actually very pretty. And I'm finding that it's not necessarily that I don't like Brindle. It's that I don't like the messy, un, you know, un, like the obscured Brindle. I like it when it's you know, clear and crisp the way that, um, hey there, the way that kimchi is and, um, the way that like Levi is, which is a male over, um, at Reese's house. Um, and I think there's a sister, um, kimchi has a sister over at Cape Fear that I think is also a clear brindle. Are you going to poop? You look like you need to poop. You get the puckered booty. She's like, no, I'm going to beat up my brother instead of poop. Hey, baby boy. Oh, my goodness, they're so cute. They're so cute. Oh, my goodness. So, anyway, very adorable, very cute little babies. You're so cute. You're too cute. Yes, you are. I just love you so much. Yes, I do. She's so cute. Who said you could be so cute? Oh, what is that? Where are you coming? Where are you coming here? 
Are you gonna come here and let me touch you? No. Say, say, say you don't know me. Say you don't know me. So Morgan has Morgan plays music for them, classical music for them on her Alexa, which I think is pretty dang funny. I guess it, it it's supposed to increase intelligence in humans. We'll see, we'll see if it works for dogs. But anyway, I gotta go. I just wanted to get some video for you guys. Morgan's gotta go to work. And I don't, she's gonna lock up after I leave. So I hope y'all enjoyed this. And I'll talk at you later. Bye.